While liberals have expressed outrage at MS. Clifford's allegations, many conservatives in this district west of Phoenix say that her statements have done little to change their view of the president or of candidates like Ms. Let's go who support him. I feel bad for Trump, said Sandy Kasky, 78, a retired General Motors employee who on Tuesday was bowling with church friends. I say about her, what I say about most of these females, Ms. Kasky said of Ms. Clifford and of other women who have come forward with claims of misconduct. Why now? When all this was going on, why didn't you take care of it at the time? Miss. Clifford told 60 Minutes that she struck a $130,000 deal for her silence in the final days of the 2016 presidential campaign. She is now suing Mr. Trump in order to be released from a non-disclosure agreement she reached with his lawyer. The Arizona race pits Ms. Lesko, a state legislator for a decade, against Hyrule Tipperneni, an emergency room doctor and political newcomer who is among the women driven to run for office after Mr. Trump's election. Ms. Lesko and Ms. Tipperneni are vying for the seat of Trent Franks, a Republican who left Congress last year after he was accused of offering $5 million to an aide to be a surrogate mother. The election is the first major race of the Trump presidency in which both candidates are women. Election day is April 24. Early ballots go out this week. The district's population is heavily religious and retired, and so conservative, that Democrats did not field a candidate in the last two elections. Chuck Coughlin, a Republican strategist in the state, called it about the safest Republican seat that you could imagine. Still, the Republican National Committee is spending about $280,000 to bolster Ms. Lesko, a sign, Democrats say, of Republican concern. And after a series of Democratic upsets in recent special elections, first with Doug Jones in Alabama and then with Conor Lamb in Pennsylvania, Ms. Tipper Nanny believes that she can win. Our Democratic base is energized, she said. There are a lot of reasons that Arizona can be next. Ms. Tipper Nanny, who said she believes Ms. Clifford's claims, has criticized Mr. Trump, calling him a poor role model. Over the weekend, in a debate on local television, Ms. Lesko called for an investigation into the claims of sexual misconduct by Mr. Trump, a striking statement from a candidate who had otherwise praised the president. I'm not the president, she said, and I don't use his rhetoric and I certainly am not going to sexually harass anyone. But later, in an interview at her home, she said she had misspoken. I didn't mean a formal investigation by government or something like that, she said. I just meant it needs to run its course. At the bowling alley, Kathy Wilson, 67, an accountant, said that she had watched Sunday's 60 Minutes interview and believed much of what Ms.
Clifford had said. But she said that it would not sway her from MR. Trump or Republican candidates. Personally, she said, I don't care what he did 12 years ago. At a nearby Arby's, Cheery and Bob McGonagall said they had not even bothered to watch. Because of MS. Clifford's work as a pornographic film star, she has less credibility, said Mr. McGonagall, 75. Her style of life and what she does and how she conducts herself isn't the Christian way, and we're Christians, he said. MS. McGonagall, 73 said she thought MS. Clifford was angling for a spot on a reality television show. I just hope she's not on Dancing with the Stars, she said, because they're going to lose a fan. Arizona's 8th district is 41% Republican and 24% Democrat, with 35% independent or otherwise affiliated, according to recent numbers from the Secretary of State. While MS. Tipperneni is pushing to become the next big upset, political strategists note that there are differences between this district and Pennsylvania's 18th, where Mr. Lamb won this month. Mr. Lamb ran as an anti Pelosi Democrat with moderate views on abortion, Mr. Coglin said, and the candidate out here is not doing any of those things, she's running a more typical Democratic campaign. Pennsylvania, he added, was a much more blue-collar, working-class district. This is not that. But not everyone is sticking by Mr. Trump or by Republican candidates. On Tuesday night, at least 200 people came out to a high school to listen to Ms. Tipper Nanny, who spoke of her support for a public health insurance option common-sense gun control, and robust funding for Social Security, Medicare, and Medicaid. Among those in the crowd were Greg Newman and Robin Kramer, independents who had come to support Ms. Tipper Nanny, with their daughter, Ulyana, 9. I'm a retired 20 year military veteran Air Force officer. I've leaned Republican my whole life, said Mr. Newman, 49. And this year I declared to be a Democrat. Among the many factors that swayed him, he said, were the allegations of sexual misconduct against Mr. Trump. Beyond reproach, he said. It's appalling to me that anyone could get behind and support someone like that, he went on.